Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video I've got another two minute Tuesday collaboration with the AutoCAD blog. I'll put a link in the description to the full article when it gets posted. Uh, but today we're going to take a look, deeper dive into viewport uh, layer overrides uh, as I describe in the article. Uh, again, if you guys haven't checked out uh, my new productivity webinar, it's available for download right now. It's an hour long and it's packed full of some of my best uh, and favorite productivity tips, tricks, workflows within AutoCAD. Uh, it's definitely worthwhile. It's been getting great feedback uh, and I'll put the link below in the description. Uh, let's get into today's video. Cheers. All right, so we've got two viewports here and they're both showing the same objects in model space. So it's pretty much a copied viewport. So you're showing the same thing in two different views, uh, but in each one, we want something to show up different than the other. And one way you can do this is through uh, viewport overrides. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Today we're gonna uh, modify the layer colors using the overrides. So in the example we're using today, we're going to highlight the doors in this viewport and the windows in this viewport. There's lots of ways you could use these tools, including uh, graying out or subduing, uh, say, an XREF or background, for instance. Uh, and in our case, we're going to kind of do that with everything except for doors in this one and everything except for windows in this one. So to start, you want to be inside or activated in the viewport that you want to modify. So double click in the viewport and bring up your layer uh, properties manager, which can be opened with this button up here. Now to make this quick, we're going to select all to show all the layers within your uh, drawing. And then we're going to choose all of the layers except for doors in this option. So you can see there, And right there, so we've selected everything except for doors. Now doors are gonna show up in this uh, cyan blue color. We're gonna change using the viewport override option, which is over here, the color of all of the other layers to a gray. So by selecting on one of these colors over here and choosing say a light gray of 252, you can see the override color has changed to 252 but the actual layer color stays the same. So this way these changes won't be uh, activated or seen in any of the layers anywhere else in the drawing except for in this viewport. And now you can see that all these doors have been highlighted in the cyan color, but in this one, nothing has changed. That's because viewport uh, overrides only affect the viewport that's selected when modifying. You can also turn layers on and off in just a viewport. You can change the line types in just the viewport, as well as the line weight and transparency of the layer, uh, as well as a specific plot style. So we're gonna repeat that process in this window or in this viewport over here by clicking in this viewport, opening up our layer property manager, selecting all of the layers using shift and then clicking holding control and choosing windows to remove it. And then again, we're gonna change all of the layers to a 252 to gray them out. And you can see when we let the window close, all of our windows are now highlighted in the blue. So when printed, these are gonna show up either in a dark black, depending on your plot style, or possibly in blue if you're showing all colors. Regardless, that allows you to uh, visually change properties within your drawings and layers without affecting the rest of the drawing. So if we go to model space, you can see that all of the original colors are still showing up. But in our paper space and in these particular viewports, the layers have been modified. Now to remove layer uh, overrides, you can simply right click anywhere in the layer area here and remove viewport overrides. And you can do it for selected layers or all layers. So if we remove them from all layers in all viewports, you can see it goes right back 
to the way it was before. So you go, that's uh, viewport overrides uh, and a quick rundown of how they work and how to use them on your activated viewport. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my productivity webinar. I'll put the link below. Uh, there'll be a discount for everybody that watched the video and use the link below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video and cheers. Have a good one. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.